There you go. Once you've got an open end to work with, you're away then. And it's in. What did that take, Al? About an hour, hour and a half? I think so, yeah. Welcome from the shed. We're, uh, we're back at the job where we did the window patcher, and today we're going to be replacing this concrete floor because I don't know if you can see here, there's damp rising up in it, and it's just a bit worse for wear. There you go. Not looking the best, and then um, I made a quick start here. As you can see, it travels up here as well. Obviously, there was a void here it was like that but yeah so our job today is get this all ripped out and get a better one in hardcore sand this green insulation concrete there you go and we're mixing our own yeah we're mixing our own for this one because as you can see we don't really need we don't need the, comp the companies to come here and put like three barrefold in and charge you 200 quid for it yeah but yeah, so that's the plan for today. Obviously, you'll see us going step by step over it, so I'll catch you in a bit. So, obviously, our first step for this one's gonna be break out this old one. But to be fair, the edges are coming up quite quickly. And like I said, it's traveling, it's got like a, a slope. Whatever you want to call it. There you go, look at that. So once we've got this loose bit out, we can get at it with the breaker then. So, just a quick one. You've probably heard us say this all the time in previous videos, but like my dad always says, once you've got an open end to work with, you're away then. Because obviously, as you probably saw in the time lapse, it's been struggling to get the open end, but now we've got the open end, so it all just chips off then. So, go on, Dad. Do you want to tell them the, rule, the golden rule? Yeah. yeah. Get yourself a, find a corner or a broken end, get it out, once you're out, you've got an open end and then it just breaks off nice and easy then. Nothing worse trying to go through concrete. Open end always. I'll get your wheelbarrow. And Dad just sorted out a skip. We're going to get this into our house. So we can just stay past, because because we're on the, um, on the road here, more or less. What, um, the terrace are on these? Yeah. yeah. Because we're on a terrace estate at the moment, it's a lot easier to get the skip at our house instead of trying to get it in the middle of the road. It's a permit as well. You've, you've got to have a permit on the road, which you've got to apply for. You can't just get a permit and turn up. You've got to apply for it a few days ahead. There you go. So it's, it would have been a faff getting a permit anyway, so we'll get it on our drive. So no issue. The amount to go. Yeah. A bit of extra work for us, but we're like two miles from home. So. Oh, and you know Mum's going to make use of it. <laughs> hey. You know Mum's going to make use of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there you go, there's your little quick tip, back to it.
and there we have it. You can't really tell because it's all still here, but all that's loose and ready to come out. The only reason it's not out yet is because everything's occupied at the moment. So, because Dad had to go and pick up some stuff. He has to go get the wacker, which we forgot. Some um, stone for mixing concrete. And I think some sand just to uh, sand blind. So, once he's back, we can load the van up with some of that crap and start getting this tidied up and move on to the next phase. So, hurry up, Dad. Catch you in a bit. Right, first load off to the skip, which is in a different postcode because um, I think we've already explained we can't get a, a permit on the day. It was going to go in front of the house, but because um, we can't get a permit, we're just going to put it elsewhere and we can um, only a couple of trips in the van. So we're going to get this, take all this down, get that chucked in, get back up, get the rest of it out, get it prepped. Right, see you in a bit. Nearly got a man down here, not feeling so good. We don't know it's the heat, the dodgy bacon roll from McDonald's or what. Anyway, here we are. You can see around the perimeter where we've gone down. So all the slab's gone. Yeah, the sun is offloading in the skip at home. Um, so down three, I'm going to get the rest of this out as much as we can in buckets as we can and knock that step out so the concrete slab goes through. And yeah, get it prepped. So we've took most of the big stuff out. So let's get the rest of this out and then... Customers took the wood out for us as well underneath. What wood? Just drop that out for us. All right, oh cool. So we can get through easier. Right, oh nice one. Cool. So yeah, it's, it's just a matter of getting this out. Believe it or not, there's about a ton and a half gone in that skip. Easily, and yeah. that's just the first load. Already, yeah. So <coughs> we're gonna fill that little two tonner. So yeah, let's get cracking and keep get, uh, get the rest of this out.
let me go. Tell you what, it's only about 21 here. Let's get scorched, isn't it? Right, as you can see, we've sand blinded it. We took out that front course to go through with the concrete. The um, When we whackered it, it went 40 mil low, so it's never been whackered, so it's really settled. So it's rock hard now. Let's put about four or five buckets back in over that low. I don't want to run out of stone in the concrete, so we've made it back up. So we've got a two, back to 100 mil slab. So after dinner, get the visqueen cut, chuck that in, get the insulation down, visqueen, and then it's concrete time. There you go, they're just delivering our ballast now, so that's handy for after dinner. So yeah, let's go and have some lunch and get back, back to it. Fish screen insulation done, cold bridging strip around the edges. It's only an outhouse and it's got 125mm insulation. We had some left over and the customer had some um, Celatex kind of the foil stuff, 60mm. So we've used it by he had left and used our 125 so it's got a nice thick 125 underneath. Cold bridging strip, we've got to put a shutter across that when we get towards the end. Now we're going to start mixing and it says. Ten past three. Wish it was. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We're gonna get stuck in now. Alex's gonna tidy up while I get the mixers, and he's gonna shuttle backwards and forwards with the uh, with the barrows. So um, yeah. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. It's all gonna be done by hand. We'll do it at the level as I go.
Hand it in. What did that take, Al? About an hour, hour and a half? I think so, yeah. Hand mixing? Well, not hand mixing, with the bell mixer. But yeah, concrete's in, see the strip round. Got a little threshold in for the, the door. Um, yeah, so we're ready to get tamping and troweling up, which shouldn't take long. So while I'm at doing this, Alex is going to get the um, stuff put away. All that tidied yeah. up out there. We've, we've over mixed the concrete, but I'd rather have a bit left over. Well, you might need to put in the foothold now. Well, yeah. Plus, we've got that threshold to do yet, so. Yeah. So, as well. usual, it's a bit boring to do without time lapse for now, so time lapse it is. And we're done. One ounce out slow. Done. 125 insulation, cold bridging straight around the edge. Nice and flat. Doesn't look much, but that was a tough day, and it's about half past five now. So um, we've got a. Uh, As the skips at ours, we've got a few bits to pick up tomorrow, so we're going to come back in the morning when we get up eventually. Get the mixer, get the wheelbarrow, get the stone, get stone bagged up and have a good tidy up. So um, I'll hand you to Alex, he'll do his nice outro. If there's enough battery. <laughs> so, there you have it. That's our little how to re redo a concrete slab. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and tap that bell. That way you'll know when we upload. And that's always a massive help for us in the channel. So we greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex. With a concrete slab. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.